This is a modification of the DNS start position. We're going to really be going after upper thoracic spine extension. Uh, Seth doesn't need a whole lot of this. Maybe we could get pretty high up here, but these are those people that tend to have a little bit of kyphosis uh, around that kind of dead zone, T4, T6. It's a great drill. So this is our basic start position setup. So what we're going to do with him is we're going to move his elbows maybe only two inches apart or as close as he can get them comfortably. And now we're going to maybe move him out a little bit. And now he's going to put his uh, forehead or classically his glabella um, right on uh, the fat pad of his uh, hands right here. And we're going to make sure that when he does that, he's still in deep neck flexion. So I'm going to have you lift your head up, tuck, set it back down. And now we want to still make sure that we're paying attention to everything else being in a good position. So we may have him drop his lumbar spine down a little bit. And now from here, we're going to say, can you either actively push your forehead down in your hands or push your hands up in your forehead? One could be a better cue for him than the other. Paying attention to make sure there's not too much upper trapezius activity. The pec is playing nice and his lat is pretty chill, which is doing great. And now from here with pressure, we're going to ask him to elongate through the top of his head. Get some of that east and west going through the shoulders. And now he has the ability because there's pressure here. It's like popping a dent out of a car. There's pressure here. So it gives him the ability to maybe drop down through his mid T-spine off of this lever. And this is just, again, a great modification of the classic DNS start position to work on upper thoracic spine extension. Give it a try.